I know I don't usually make videos like this on this channel. I usually try and make videos that are, you know, lighthearted or happy or, and comfortable. But what's happened today is it's, it's changed things and I've, I have to address this. I have to say something because my feelings, I usually talk about this on Twitter, things of this nature, but a tweet can only say so much. And I feel like I need to get my feelings out in a video so that I can really demonstrate why I'm so worried about this and why I'm so concerned with how it's going. Today, um, in the United States, the Supreme Court made the decision to overturn a law that 50 odd years ago gave women considerably more rights in terms of their reproductive rights than they had before then. The law they overturned, which is Roe versus Wade, was a law that the decision made it legal on the constitutional level for women to make the decision to terminate a pregnancy. And today, as I've said, it's it's been completely overturned, which means that now, as far as I'm aware, on an immediate basis, there are several states where it is now completely illegal. It is a basic human right to have control over your body, over your health. If there's something that could potentially affect you financially and medically, and change your future entirely. And it's to do with something such as deciding to conceive or not deciding to conceive, uh, but to have a child. Then, of course, there should be, there should be a decision. It should, you should have the choice of making that decision. And this, that the problem with this as well isn't just that it takes away that right, but it also, it sets a dangerous precedent in terms of what can happen to very big sweeping national laws that were put into law to make progress. And this sort of decision essentially makes it so that all of those can be questioned to some extent, which is, it's, it's incredibly scary because it's, it's just incredibly difficult to know if this is as bad as it gets in terms of reforms to national law. And I know this is an American decision, but American decisions can affect, they can affect worldwide perceptions, not just of America, but a lot of countries and a lot of people look to America in terms of certain laws and certain decisions. It, it affects how other countries feel about their own decisions and their own society, which is not to say that all countries follow America, but when a country as big as America makes a decision to overturn a law which gave a very, very basic right to uh, women, it's just a very, it's very hard to know quite where it's going to um, go from here. And it's also just very scary times right now because there are women right now who who might be pregnant or in the very early stages of pregnancy who might have been assaulted or they might have been coerced in some way or they, they might have just um, broken up with a long-term partner and found out they're pregnant and they're not financially able to support themselves for one reason or another. It happens to a lot of people where obviously because a, a child financially having a child is very expensive, especially in America because Healthcare costs money, raising them will cost money, you have to provide for them in all sorts of ways. And I mean, I'm not saying people shouldn't have kids. If you're, if you're a woman and you're pregnant and you want to stay pregnant and you want to follow that through to full term and have that child, that is perfectly, there's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly, you know, pregnancy is a normal thing. There's nothing abnormal about pregnancy. It's very much a human process, a biological process. 
but as a biological process is also something that we should be able to make decisions on if you if it's to do with your own body as i said i'm uh, not a woman as such that means that obviously I, I could never understand what it's like to go through a pregnancy i understand that it's a very it takes a big toll on your body it can be very painful at times especially during childbirth and so and so it's definitely it's something that as I said, it's a basic human right, the right to decide to terminate an early pregnancy. I want to um, get into specifically why this concerns me so much and upsets me so much beyond just the fact that it's been um, overturned. I have friends in, a, in America and I know people in America who are women who live in some of the states where this sort of decision is going to affect them probably for the rest of their lives. I also know young people um, who live in America who are going to grow up in an America where this is the law. You should have the rights to um, decide whether or not you want to undergo a process that's as has as wide a range of effects as that um, because pregnancy can be painful it can make you feel sick it can have mental effects it, it can also have consequences for the future in terms of financial consequences and consequences of um, other parts of your health if there was any complications during the pregnancy and or the birth it's very much something that you should have a right over. And the fact that now, right as it was overturned in several states, that is now no longer an option. It's 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 a very upsetting to, to see that such a decision has been made and that these women, which is all women who are able to become pregnant now no longer have any sort of safety net. I'm just very scared of the changes that have been happening over the last couple of years. And it scares me because we, we're not making progress anymore. If we're making decisions like this, we're decisions like this, they threaten to push things further and further back. And that's not the way we should be heading. We should be heading towards not just in America, but a world where we can all just make it a comfortable place for everybody to live and for things to progress and to to focus on the other issues um, going on with the world so that we can just sort of fix things, if, if that makes sense. I, I know I'm, I'm all over the place with this. It's very hard to say what has to be said without phrasing it wrong or it's hard for me to explain. But I hope I've made myself clear on my feelings and my thoughts on this. And I I hope that what's happened today isn't going to set that precedent for the future. And it will be the end of any sort of changes of this nature. But only time will tell. So I, I just hope things work out.